Hey peeps, Jenny Raw Real Unfiltered here. It's about 7.15 Chicago time and I am proud to say it is 216 days today sober. No alcohol, no cigarettes, no pills, no weed. 216 days ago I quit all four of those cold turkey and have not looked back. Which kind of brings me to um, the reason I'm making this video, um, I've talked in the past about how, you know, addicts in recovery, um, you either have, there's usually two sides, um, either they don't like to count how many days they've been sober, um, because I think they feel like, you know, why count if they have no plans of ever going back? So it's kind of like a new beginning, a fresh start, you know, no recollection or any afterthought in terms of counting the days. Whereas other people like myself, um, they do count. And I think that's because, um, well, let me tell you my perspective on it. Um, I see both sides, um, why someone would not want to count and keep track, so to speak. Um, and me, even though I can appreciate, you know, wanting to count and not wanting to count, I do keep track. Um, just like I started out this video saying 216 days sober today, I start every video or live stream I make on YouTube. Um, what usually in the beginning, but sometimes, you know, I'll be so lost in my thoughts and my topic that I won't remember till the end or somewhere in between. But at some point I always make it a point to say how many days sober I am. And the reason that I personally do that, and I'm inclined to think that other people who feel the same way I do, other recovering addicts who feel the same way I do, um, just to give you a little perspective, the reason I like to, you know, count my days, so to speak, and remind myself every day what day I'm on and how many days it's been that I've been sober is because I think when you, and you only, only understand this if you are a recovering addict, if you've struggled with addiction, um, but a lot of addicts will tell you that the addiction when they were in active addiction and they struggled, that could be equated to hell, to a living hell. So those, you know, by the grace of God, who are able to recover and are in, you know, recovery, who are sober, there's no words to express the type of feelings you have um, when you were able to escape that hell, those chains of addiction, and heal and get better. So I think, and I know I'm speaking for myself, I can tell you that I keep track of what day it is in terms of how many days of sobriety I have under my belt because I want it to be a constant reminder of where I was, the hell I was in, and how I never want to go back there. And I think it also for me serves as a, you know, a, a reminder, but it, it fuels me to keep going. It's a little pat on the back that I give myself every day. You know, I am a huge um, words of affirmation person. That's my love language. You know, I love to um, have the acknowledgement and the recognition because not so much for, you know, my ego. I don't need the like, oh, good job. You're doing so great. But the reason I... I I appreciate it and I like hearing it is because that is my fuel to keep going 
those are the tools, those words, that acknowledgement, that recognition are like the tools in my toolbox that allow me to, you know, pull forward and to keep plowing through. So, you know, a good friend of mine, of mine, he, you know, has the opinion of, and I totally respect it, no judgment, you know, to each their own. I always say no judgment. Um, we as addicts oftentimes are judged and we know how it feels to be judged. So I feel like a lot of times we try not to judge. Um, so to each their own, you know, everyone has their opinion. Everyone, everyone has their right, you know, to their opinion. And my, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, he um, doesn't f like the counting. He doesn't feel like, you know, you should count your days of sobriety. Again, and he and the reason he feels this way is because he thinks that, like, you know, it's supposed to be like a life change. In other words, like, no going back type of thing. So why keep track? You know, and again, that's his opinion. I respect it. What I will tell you, though, with all due respect, is unless you are someone who has struggled with addiction, in other words, someone who's experienced active addiction, and then went so far as to get sober, Unless you are someone that has walked a mile in those shoes, I don't really know how you can really speak in terms of experience. Like I said, you're entitled to your opinion, but you can't really, in my opinion, speak on something that you haven't experienced. So you can say that you wouldn't keep track and you wouldn't count, but you haven't been through that very thing that you'd be healing from and getting better from and, you know, wanting to keep track of not doing any longer. So that's my thought on that. You know, for all those of you that have struggled, um, you know, I wish you well. I hope you're in, you know, recovery. Now you play nothing. Excuse me. That was my husband coming in here saying something to my son okay, who came in here five seconds before. Shh. Then go, please. No. Anywho, that's all, folks. Um, God bless those of you that are struggling. Um, may you find your way to the light. Um, but that was just my little two cents on, you know, my opinion and my perspective on why I keep track. That's why I choose to, you know, every day focus and think about how many days I have under my belt. And that fuels me and pushes me to move forward. So, Jenny Raw Real Unfiltered, if you have not subscribed yet, please do. Please like this video. And most importantly, please share this video with anyone that you might think um, would benefit from it. Um... Have a great rest of your evening, and I will see you soon. Jenny Raw Real Unfiltered. God bless.